Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to prepare Singapore noodles the way just like the locals in Singapore. Looking for authentic Singapore noodles recipe, you probably won't find one. It's a term given by the peoples in foreign countries, the way the local prepare the rice vermicelli. According to the Michelin Guide Singapore, there's a total of 38 star restaurant in the small island city, which is about 700 square kilometers. If you're squeamish about street food, you may be surprised that one of the hawkers have received one star according to the Michelin Guide 2017. So let's dive in and take a look at how Singapore noodles is prepared. I'm KB Kwan, thanks for joining me. To begin with, blanch the rice vermicelli in boiling water for about 1 minute. Or until it becomes soft and tender. Remove from the hot water and transfer the vermicelli to a pot of cold water to stop cooking as quickly as possible to prevent overcooking. I prefer this method as the rice vermicelli will have a springy texture and not easy to break during stir-frying. Alternatively, you can just soak them in cold water for at least one hour or until they become soft and drained. Now, let's take a look at the ingredients we use to cook the vermicelli just like the local in Singapore. Two eggs, chicken breast meat, shrimps, cabbage, bean sprouts, carrots, onions, garlic, scallions, and lastly, dry shrimps. As for the chicken, marinate with corn flour, some oil and light soy sauce for half an hour or more. As for the dry shrimps, soak them in hot water for 30 minutes drained. They will be hydrated and ready to use. As for the shrimps, deweined, clean and mixed with a large spoon of salt. Set aside for 10 minutes and wash away the salt under running water. Now let's look at the seasoning for the noodles. Tomato ketchup, chili sauce, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, white pepper, and sesame oil. Now we have everything ready, and it's time for the exciting part. First, saute the onions in the vegetable oil over low heat. Then, add the garlic and saute until aromatic. Dry shrimps. Dry shrimps are savory, but it's an acquired taste. So, do not omit it if you want the genuine Asian flavor. Throw in the chicken and follow by the shrimps. When the shrimps are cooked, remove them so that it will not be overcooked and for garnishing later. Next, add 
the cabbage and carrots. And when it turns soft, push them to the edge of the wall. Crack two eggs and scramble them at the center of the wall. Add some oil if necessary. Then push back all the ingredients back to the center and mix them all together. And then set aside. Place a lemon chili in the wok. Stir fry over low heat. As high heat at this stage will cause the lemon chili sticking to the wok. Add all the seasonings and mix well with the lemon chili. Add back all the ingredients to the wok. Now you can start to increase the heat. Stir fry over high heat and add part of the beet sprout and stir fry briefly. Then turn off the heat and add the rest of the bean sprout so that they will remain crunchy when served. And here you have the Singapore noodles, cooked by following the way how the locals prepare them in Singapore. Try this recipe. And you can print the recipe by visiting our website tasteasianfood.com slash Singapore noodles. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to our YouTube channels and leave a comment should you have any questions. I'm KB Kwan. Bye for now.